Okay, so both of our barn cats we knew were pregnant at one point. One of them we thought didn't have the babies and that something had happened, but today, oh, there it is. I was in my bathroom and underneath the tub I could hear little meows. This would be the mama to the babies that are underneath the house. She has never been an inside cat. She's always been an outside cat. Our other cat was an inside cat. So when she got pregnant, she started to hang out inside. I'm not sure how many babies are in there. Okay, oh my god, there's two! <laughs> so my husband just got home, we're gonna try and get to them. So he's right there, and that's our crawl space, and there's a vent. Right here is our bathroom window, our master bath, and right here is a tub, and underneath it is where the kittens are. Okay, this is kitten number one. She's got blue eyes, and she's calico. She's very sweet. I love her. Okay, it's been about 45 minutes, and after about 20 minutes, we heard another kitten, and then another 20 minutes, we heard another kitten. So in total, we now have four kittens. and I am out feeding the chickens and taking care of the ducks. I just put the ducks to bed and I came and found omelet. She didn't look very well. She still doesn't look very well. Um, she's quite old. We do rehab older chickens off Craigslist or just from people who don't want to butcher their chickens. We give them a nice home until it's their time. But I think her time might be coming. I've checked her the other day she has no bugs no mites no lice nothing like that i checked her crop she seems good she doesn't seem in pain just very tired and lethargic i've given her food and water and she seems to be comfortable i've put her in with the chicks that way she's not with the rest of the flock but she has food and water and she's just relaxing all right here's today's eggs Sometimes life is coming out to collect eggs in your moo moo at 8.30 at night. <laughs> okay, we've moved all kitties outside. The four orange ones are up top and the four black ones are down bottom. We keep our cats on our back deck. It's all screened in and has a door with a lock so we're not too worried about them. We obviously have to make sure everyone gets along first. Ghost seems to be doing really good. She kind of wants to adopt Pippi's kittens and Pippi's a little nervous about it. Hey guys, so today we got a lot of stuff to harvest. Um, we have a bunch of peas, we have some pumpkins, some mini pumpkins, and a couple squash I think. So let's go.
Okay guys, we just got done picking all these peas. My daughter helped me, but now I'm gonna teach her how to shell them and we're gonna sit on the front deck and do that together. Okay, we just got done shelling all the peas. We got this big bowl. This is the one thing that I don't blanch before freezing. So I will put these in either a mason jar or a freeze safe Ziploc and throw them in our chest freezer. And these will go to the goats. Watch out, baby. Why? So cute. All the babies are in there. We got one mama up here and one mama down here. Okay, the peas are going a little crazy after we picked them the other day. They're starting to fall over onto the carrots. So I'm gonna see if I can use some twine to kind of control them a little, hopefully. All right, the peas look a little bit better. They're no longer hanging over the carrots and beets and radishes. So I'm gonna go check on the tomatoes now. I was just watching back the video of when I planted this cut flower bed and it's crazy how much it's grown. It's beautiful though. It's really just here for the bees. Um, I don't cut very many. I just like to have the bees near my vegetables because we have a better turnout. The rosemary bush and the herbs are doing awesome. Some of these giant pumpkins are starting to get really big. This whole patch is doing really good. We'll get a pumpkin there. We got some little pumpkins here. Another little pumpkin. This was the tire where we put two of our cantaloupe plants. We already have a little baby cantaloupe up in there. These are more squash. All of our tomatoes are producing really well. These are the ones at the end that we ran out of stuff to hold them up. So these are just vining, but they're still doing awesome. It looks like my onions need to be trimmed again. I trimmed the tops off about a month ago. Okay, I really had to step back to give you the full picture. This is the U-shaped bed, if you can't tell. Those are the tomatoes, sunflowers, corn, watermelon. The watermelon have kind of taken over this whole area. The corn is doing really good. So are my petunias. But the corn looks amazing. And these sunflowers are huge. If you're wondering what all the powder on the leaves is, we've been having an issue with squash bugs. So we tried a new clay powder. I haven't seen it really helping any. We also tried neem oil last year and that didn't work. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comments, please. Okay, this is the tomato bed that you guys just saw me fix up a little and I am obsessed with these cute little pear-shaped tomatoes that are growing. I haven't grown any like this before. I think these ones are supposed to be yellow. Big cage of cherry tomatoes kind of looks crazy right now, but up inside there are a ton of tomatoes. I think that these might be the black cherry tomatoes. Morning Glory is doing really good. It's already started to climb up the trellis. We did put on our second cattle panel. Cucumbers and squash are doing awesome. Look at all those acorn squash up there. And then I have some acorn squash and some mini white pumpkins. That one's not so mini anymore. It definitely needs to be picked.
Okay, these are our national pickling cucumbers that I direct sowed. These are transplanted cucumbers that were a gift, and I am just starting to notice that they are not pickling cucumbers. So these will be quite large. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I will eat a lot of cucumber sandwiches. Every year I plant a lot of cucumbers and a lot of tomatoes just specifically for cucumber sandwiches. We go through a lot in the summer. However, the ones over here seem to be normal size. There's another really big one. But we definitely have some cucumber ones over here. Okay, so our peppers are all right in the same area, but we are getting a bunch of nice big healthy looking peppers in this bed and then right over here is our other peppers and these ones are also doing nicely there's a bunch up in there there's some on this one okay and this is the second tomato bed this one also has tomatoes everywhere but they all look really good these are again our more like heirloom, bigger tomatoes. The other bed is more of our Roma canning cherry tomato bed. Some squash up in here that need to be picked and some cucumbers too. I'm very excited. I'll have to do a basket video when I pick all this stuff. This is our lavender and this is our lemon balm and this lemon balm looks and smells amazing. We've also got sage over here. While I was recording these three pots, I noticed back here that there's a tomato plant and I very obviously would not have planted a tomato here. So I guess we have a volunteer tomato and it's already got flowers on it. So I guess we'll see what that is. I really thought I had figured out my cabbage issue by putting this net over them and planting onions around the edge as cabbage moth repellent. But let me show you underneath. Every single year and it's devastating. This is six full cabbages which I will save and I will quarter and put in freezer bags for this winter as treats for the chickens. On the back side of the peas that I tied up is our carrots and our radishes. These are our radishes. These are doing good. Um, and then our carrots are getting really big but they look nice. Uh, our beets are doing good. These ones are regular beets. I do have a couple of golden beets in here, I think. Yep, these are golden beets. And then I have some more beets over here. These were planted way after the carrots, so they're significantly smaller. But these carrots, man, I have never had a good carrot harvest. This year is gonna be my year, I can tell. <laughs> so these peas are gonna be replaced by loofahs that we have in the greenhouse. And when I pull the peas, I'm gonna pull the carrots and replant more carrots for a fall harvest. And these are our loofahs. They're already getting really big and they're doing amazing. So hopefully we get them out in the next couple weeks. Okay, my two little dragon fruits. There's one, <laughs> there's another one. They're doing so good. I've never grown dragon fruit before. I don't think anything's gonna come of them this year, but hopefully by next year, they'll be a little bigger. The greens bed at the back of the greenhouse is doing good. It's starting to bolt. I'm gonna save some seeds, hopefully. These are already good. We've been picking from these and this. Anything that hasn't bolted, that doesn't have a flower on it, I find it's fine to eat. We don't have any bitterness or anything like that. The kale's still doing really good. I'm hoping to make some kale chips soon. Okay, hey guys. So that is it for our garden update. Um, I'm sure there's things that I missed. I'm mostly posting this video for my Instagram friends. Um, it's really hard for me to post garden updates on Instagram just because you're only allowed so much time in stories and on reels and things like that. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next video.